And we also did some geoglyphs as well. So I can, you know what I should do? Well, all the shrines that I've done so far, I should probably try to at least get these light roots up and going too, because they're literally right underneath. I uh, don't know how close they are though, but well, we'll get to it when we get to it. But let's go ahead and get to the area that we need to get to. So the closest way to get in there is through here. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I'll just travel through there. I mean, I could probably just fly, use the tower and just fly down here. But I think there's some things that we might miss out on. So that's why I'm going to just travel by horse. Okie dokie. As a matter of fact, actually, before I even do all that, let me let me get this mission out of the way because I do need to uh, do it. It involves these guys. Some of its wheels broken now. We can't even transport our instruments to performances. For us. Fairy is so okay. All right, go ahead and give us the rundown again. Ah. Oh. Hmm. All right, so these are the side adventures we're gonna have to do in I think four or five stables they're gonna be in so uh need to figure out exactly how to get that thing moving so let's get our horse I need the what you call it. I think I can get it through here. Oh. Alright, so the pony points, we got three, I think. There we go. We needed the harness. That's what it was. We need the harness. Got fabric that I don't really care for. Okay, we got what we needed, so let's talk to this guy in the front. And we can customize our horse. And we can add that, uh, what you call it, the towing harness. And that's going to be needed to uh, carry that thing that they have. Alrighty.
Yeah, it is very windy out here tonight. Uh, nope, not exactly in right, so got it the wrong way. Oops. Alright, it's also missing a wheel. We're missing two wheels, so let's go ahead and attach that sucker in here. As a matter of fact, I should have... I should have had it lift, lift it up so I can have room for them to... Sorry, horse. Eh, that'll work. Just need one of them to be up. There we go. That should do it. Yes, this is pretty much what we're going to have to do and like I said, the other stables that we come across. We can always initiate that mission by talking to that, that bird. So if we see the bird in the stable, then it's most likely we'll see these guys. Thankfully, these missions are not too hard. They're just relatively easy. Just, I guess maybe the difficult part is just getting all the stuff set up. But uh, shouldn't be any. It shouldn't be like an issue. You can get this done like relatively fast. There's the thick fairy. It's the thickest of all fairies. So this whole phenomenon is having people seeing Princess Zelda, but really, but not really. It's pretty wild. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's probably important to join these missions too with that bird because he gives you rupees on extra rupees. Uh, it increases the more you do his uh, missions and stuff. So, looking for rupees? Talk to that guy. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Mija is near the stable in Hebra, which I did see. Kesa is near stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in the West Nakluda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, let's see what's stopping. I need both Coblin Horns, and I have none. Like Dragon Scale and a Silent Princess. Oh, boy. Like Dragon Scale. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, We can definitely upgrade the Hylian Trousers, though. We can just beat a bunch of both Coblins and get that up. Get that, uh, get that upgraded. Aww. The light dragon is going to be a challenge, <laughs> to say the least. Um, well, for starters, we know it's flying around in the sky somewhere that I can't see. It's flying somewhere, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to fight a bunch of bow goblins, and actually, I think there was... Was there not an encampment up here that had bull goblins? Yeah, I remember this place in Breath of the Wild being the whole entire swamp. And now, since the upheaval happened... Yeah, there's a swamp right there. Since the upheaval happened, this whole place pretty much changed. So, as mentioned before, like, even though this is essentially a copy-paste game, there are notable differences in the game. It's not everything that you've been into in, uh, in Breath of the Wild is relatively the same thing. They changed up, they changed up some areas. Some, if not most areas. So. Which is good, honestly, because I would really hate to, you know, be in the same spot. <laughs> you know... Everything still relatively being the same. I think that would kind of be. I think that's that would be pretty pointless, honestly, for a sequel. Oh God. Uh, thank God, Link has the ability to jump. Freaking pull Coblin Horn was down there. Ah, whatever. I don't have a freaking what you call it.
Come on. Alrighty. Since you don't want to fight. Oh shoot, slippery. If only that destroyed them while I did that. That would have been nice. Oh, they're bombs. Okay, clearly that was not the right spot to farm for these things, but I know exactly where to go to uh to get uh those horns. I gotta go back to the lookout. There's a whole bunch of bokoblins there. It should be around here. Yep, over there. Straight ahead. Okay, homie killed himself. Cool. Homie done killed himself. I love it. Alright, this should be more elsewhere. I think I need these too. Yeah, I need these. I did not want to do that, but whatever. Okay, this freaking kid is just obliterating them. He didn't even give me a chance to freaking strike. How much do I have? I need one more. I need to find one more over there. I see them. Uh, there's some over here too. Oh, somebody's fighting one of them. Better help the dude out. Hey, look, it's a Gerudo. Swim 
me speed up. I'll take that. Sabak. All right, we got what we need. Let's go back. It's 8 a.m. 8 p.m. Do you know where your children are? All right, we can't upgrade the uh, the tunic. Well, the shirt. But we can upgrade the trousers, so... By doing that, that'll give us some better defense. So we can take more hits. As Lord knows. Lord knows we need that. Increase the defense by one level. Some sets, if you enhance each part of a set twice to give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Wait, come back. I need to know what I need to upgrade. Gosh, just so quick to leave, and I need to know exactly what resources I need. Alright, trousers. Great Fairy is not strong enough. Okay, that makes sense. Silent Princess, I don't remember where to find these. Oh, man. Silent Princess, I feel like... I feel like I know where exactly, but I can't remember... And I do want to get a light dragon scale, but the only issue with that is I need two of them. Man, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure if that's something I can just pick up. I'm gonna check the sky and see if I can find that dragon. If we can't find it and somehow get close to it to get uh, the scale, then perfect. But if not, then we'll try. We'll try it another time. All right, we should be able to see that dragon flying around. So if you guys remember from the last game, there were three dragons that roam around uh, that roam around Hyrule, and if we were lucky enough to actually hit them, like hit them with an arrow or something, uh, they drop off like a scale or uh, or a fang or whatever, and you can use that to upgrade like clothing or I think maybe upgrade your weapons or something. Or if you want to sell it, I think they, they sell for like a very high price. So. This game has them because we did see a we did see a few of them already. And I think the way that they move is, is different from uh 
from last game. As you can see, there's a dragon right now that's actually going inside the depths. I don't know which one that is, though. But, but yeah. There's uh, there's other dragons roaming around. I just don't know. Like, I don't remember. I don't remember the pattern of how they like uh, how they move. I think, for the most part, the light dragon I think roams around all around Hyrule in a uh, in like. In the in the clockwork, in the in the clockwork uh, clockwise position. I think, I think it's around. I think around like. Let me see if I can show it off. Like it goes around here. It doesn't doesn't go anywhere in the middle, but it goes around like in the outsides here. So I don't know exactly where it's like where the where the light dragon is. But if I can get a, if I can get some sort of an idea on where it's at, then I'll know exactly where. You know how you know how that dragon's moving. I mean, if I can at least give one of them one of those scales, then that's good. I'll be good. Damn cloud, I can't see. All right, clearly, she's not on that side. So. Check over here. We're gonna we're gonna go to Elden soon. I just wanted to see if I can find that light dragon so we can get one of their uh get one of their scales. I just need to know if it's in in my general direction. I don't see it, but... This is crazy, because I know... I know this thing is supposed to be visible out of all the other dragons, so... I don't know, it's very strange. Very, very strange. I'm sure there's going to be an easier way for me to find it, but... Oh, 
it's already damn near broken. <laughs> e, there we go. There's the challenge here. We gotta bring this all the way up there. Yeah, I don't see that dragon anywhere. Might be flying in a direction that I have no idea. I have no idea where it could be. All right. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. Eh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Uh, darn, if there was only another rocket I could use. I wonder... Yeah, I think that I think that could work. It worked. <laughs> they gotta have that fan. I don't know how else I was gonna do it. I mean, I probably could have just gone to that uh, machine that was on the other side and got me some, uh, what you call it? Some of those Zonai devices. I think these shrines is in the sky. I think most of them are uh, Raru's blessings. So we don't have to do much in these uh, shrines. I could be wrong here. This one might not be it, but I know I think a good majority of them have them. So we don't have to do too much. Okay, yeah, I was right. I was right. Hello, cat. What's up? What's up? Oh, a magic rod. Nice. bunch of these orbs tired and sore yeah same here <laughs> I swear there's nothing more fun than doing manual labor on your day off 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to use some of these. Let's see what I get. Okay, shock emitter, that's a good one. Light, steering sticks, steering sticks, more steering sticks. And it is way too dark and I can't see anything up here. So I won't be able to see if I can find that dragon. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, there's the Master Sword. Can't get that yet. Hey, let's go. Uh, I need to get myself back in the gym, too. Oh, what's this? Oh, crap. No, give me. There we go. <laughs> I was not about to lose that. Yeah, no pain, no gain, though. You know, you know the same. Oh, this is going to be a long way up there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, especially when you don't you don't use them uh, as much. Or you don't use it often, like when it comes to lifting and stuff. That's how I'm gonna feel exactly too when I start going back to the gym. Like everything in my body is gonna be sore as hell. I'm not looking forward to it though. I most definitely am not looking forward to that. I remember working at the post office at one point. It was only seasonal, but I was doing uh, stocks. So I was working like on the old, like during the graveyard shifts, and I was already out of shape. So me lifting heavy boxes, moving like thousands of heavy boxes, yeah, and doing that for for twelve hours, five days straight. The first night when I started, the next, <laughs> the first, no, well, the the night after the first, uh, after the first day that I started, I could not move at all. Like I felt like a complete statue. <laughs> oh, let me get this lizard. I'm gonna need that. Get some fire resistance. That's good, that's good. Get the sleep pattern going. It's 
another thing I need to work on myself. No, don't go away. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's just a cloud. Oh, wait, I can see from up here where the dragon is. But I don't see any dragons at all. Okay, let me look at my OBS screen because my other, my, uh, my monitor is just like bugging out. I don't know why, but I, I can barely see. I can barely see on the screen. This is a 4K monitor, so I know it's, it's different. Alrighty. We're here, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think it's a matter of me turning on turning it on and off. I think it's just a matter of me just fixing the settings that I'm too lazy to do. <laughs> At least I think. I could be wrong, but Okay, what is up with this dude? Minecart land, Yanumbo. Hmm. Oh, I don't think eating rocks is healthy for me i'll leave that to you guys well here's a, here's an upside because it's not it's not hot like it was in breath of the wild so we don't have to put on any armor so that's good What the hell was that? These Gorons look possessed. Some untrustworthy fellows rolling around in the city right now. So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you're scammed out of it. Very good, Gorons. We'll take it off your hands for a great price. How about three rupees for all of your ore? Whatever you, ore you got, come on, show us the goods. Uh, no? Okay, that was weird. So Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped and the lava's cooled. Okay. Uh, Makes sense why more travelers are coming here now. Mm. <laughs> I like how I dodged the question of who are you. I'm like, thanks for the tip. She still introduces herself. <laughs> Lauren Amber, if you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces of amber, I'll buy them for a little more than you can sell them for at other shops. Oh. Wait, don't leave. Wait, hold up. I think I have some. Two. Yes. I don't have 10. I, th I thought I picked up some amber. Hold up. I only have five. Oh, man. Wait. I wonder if that trick works. I forgot how to do it. Uh, 
Hold on a second. Hold on a sec, chat. No, I forgot. I forgot the trick of how to do it, but I think I do have to have it on the lot on the end of the list here. Let me see. I forgot how to do it. I'll figure it out later. I know it required me to do I, unless unless it was patched. I'm not, I'm not I'm not sure if it still works, but it's a little item duplication trick I could have done. That would have definitely helped me out too in getting rupees. So I definitely need some. Oh, here we are, Goron City. Acting funny because of the marbled rock roast that President Yunumbo is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Uh. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Uh, uh, uh. Goro? Huh? What could you want? Damn. Yeah, seen each other in... I don't even know how long this yeah. takes place between this game and Breath of the Wild, but damn. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even noticed you. What's the big idea of talking to that to our esteemed guest? Bluto, our, or should I say boss, you really don't know your place, do you? Slugger, tell me, who runs Goron City these days? Yunumbo Co. And Offrak, who's in charge of Yunumbo Co. You are President Yunumbo. And may got some attitude. Yo. Huh? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Locks, does that mean here? Sure. See, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda, so you better shove off. Huh. I've got to get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Broke his back. Again. Huh. Gosh. In Breath of the Wild, he was just... An innocent, scared, scared little Goron. Now, all of a sudden, he's become bigger and more arrogant and kind of, kind of becoming a douchebag, honestly. Uh, where is the shop? How much are these? Oh, these go on spice. I don't need to worry about that. Ooh, arrows. I don't need them right now. This is the wrong shop. I want there it is. 
There it is. This is what we need. That cost an absurdly amount of money. Okay, we can get the armor at least. Try to sell some stuff. Oh, we got three of these? Okay, hold up. I don't remember me picking them up, but okay. Um, three rupees off. I'll sell this that we just picked up. He said dirt cheap. How much was this in the in the previous game? All right, we don't need to wear that right now. At least until we get into like the caves, like he mentioned. Wait a minute. Where was the helmet? Oh, right there. Wow, I didn't even see that. Oh hell no. <laughs> Fourteen hundred for the helmet. How come the armor, the armor, the, the chest part, how come that is cheaper than all the other ones? That's crazy. I, I'm definitely going the wrong way here. There's a shrine here that I completely missed out on. So we need to go to that shrine so we can have easy access here. Oh shoot, hold up. Can I actually buy these and s Oh yeah, that makes sense. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna figure out that item duplication if it still works or not. Because if it still does work, then Oh, I'm gonna take full advantage of that shit. Wield Wonders. Okay, guess I can't attach that to it. Oh, because it was already attached to that, I see.
Up, hold up. Hold up. It's not gonna ride the right way. It's reversed. Bro, really? Oh, whoa, 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 too hot. What's up, Knight? What's going on, buddy? Damn it. So close. That was close. Really, that doesn't work? The most unorthodox way of uh, <laughs> getting over there. Yeah, I was supposed to connect to this, but I don't know what happened. I guess I did it wrong, but I don't care. As long as I got to the other side, that's all that matters. Don't judge me. <laughs> Surviving the storm? I hate you, bro. Yeah, it's pretty windy over here by me. Of course, with some rain, too, but... Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad.
Okay. Can't push it. Noted. Bro. Whoa. Try that again. Awesome. Get two more and I get a heart container. Get that lizard. Stay still. Thank you. Uh, Pretty sure someone said you can get you can get to the end of the tracks if you get in this mine cart. But how do you make a move? I bet the ancient city of Grandia is over there. The hell is that? Who are you guy? Me? I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Garandia is the legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard, I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there too. They had even more advanced technology than we do now, and I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. I wanted to use this mine card to search for the treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone all my secrets, okay? Alrighty, secret safe with me. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just gonna go this way. I was gonna say I need something to help me push this. A fan would be nice. Ask and I shall receive, I guess. Really? That's my cart. Well, it's mine now. <laughs> it's mine now. Bro, really? Well, screw you then. I'm just take this fan back. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yeah, this place has changed a lot. This was all nothing but lava. <laughs> hey, you know, headquarters.
Alright, I do remember there being gloom hands around this area too, so I gotta be careful where I go. Don't want to come across those guys, because they are bad news. I don't recall ever coming here. So let's see, this is Yunumbo's uh, place. I'm assuming this is where he sleeps. Let's read what it says here. Yes, let's read. After the eruption at Death Mountain stopped, the lava stopped flowing all over Elden. Then it got colder. The sudden shift in climate has made folks real sick. And whoever isn't sick is upset by how different everything is around here. At this rate, Goron City will fall apart. I keep wondering if there's anything I can do. The lava is cooled and hardened, which means we can reach areas we weren't able to before. Elden is covered in rock now, and there's orc lore. There's only one thing to do now. Dig, dig, until there's no more digging t to be done. We'll dig up every bit of ore and get the city back to booming. I was busy digging in the caves and mining ore, and before I knew it, everyone was helping out. Slurgo and Offrak were the most ambitious of the group. I thought I was the only one who cared enough to get the city back to booming, but I was wrong. I figured it's a good time to offer job security to everyone by starting up a company. We're calling it Yunumbo Co. Slurgo and Offrak came up with the name. It's still pretty chilly around here these days, but most of us have gotten used to it. With the temperatures cooler, now anyone can visit Goron City without using fireproof gear. We're going to build a new road so to make it more welcoming to travelers. With more travelers, more travelers passing through, we can offer the ore mined up by the Yunumbo Co. for a special price. Something called the Upheaval happened, and Hyrule Castle is floating in the air. Princess Zelda and Link have gone missing, and Pura has sent out search parties. I'd like to go lend a hand, but lately there has been strange red haze coming from Death Mountain. Before I leave, I will go see what's going on to make sure everyone in the city and my workers at Yunoboku are safe. Okay. I don't know what dish this is, but I, I'm really curious to making this. And I can't read it either. I know it's a Goron Spice Carrots, and I think that's, uh... I forgot what that... I think that's rice. Alright. Let's go ahead and... See what's up with this. He's talking about marbled rock roast with the blonde lady right now? What the hell? No. President Yunobo said he got that weird mask. He's wearing from the lady too. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Hey, you're friends with President Yunobo, aren't you? You know how he created Yunobo Co. for mining. It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince him to make your number post stop mining marbled rock roast? <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Alright, so we heard the kids. They said, uh, I can't go in there just with this armor horn, so gotta break out this gear. Because it does get hot. And I am burning up. Oh, my shield broke. And my bow. Goodbye, bow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to cook up something. Some elixirs or something. Alright, let's see where I can make some food. Aha, found you.
Hey, there we go. Some good stuff right there. Yeah, that's why I needed those uh to collect those lizards because they give off the the heat. They give me heat proof. So now I got the flame guard on, which means I don't need. Wait. Five, three is eight. Okay. Um. I'm gonna put this back on because. Oh, okay, I see. No, but I need this back on. I need to get absolute flame guard in this. Not that I can just survive with just one, but no, I can't. Clearly not himself, you know, Bo. That was fast. All right. That was hella fast. But we did it. Everything's a blur since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story is. Oh. Hey, where is she anyway? Is everyone all right? Nobody's injured? Huh? What's that? I thought I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda is just outside the cave. Huh? Well, that blonde lady was Princess Zelda. Huh? Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask and the marbled rock roast. Gotta hurry and go talk to her. Huh? The only way to break those red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. Link, be my eyes and guide me, Goro. Yeah, now we got the power of fire. When your numbers or is charged, it can be aimed in any direction for a fiery rolling attack. Awesome. Here I go. Let's go. I can do it. Yes, you can. Get us out of here. That did the trick. Come on, boys, let's go after Zelda. Huh? 